Good morning, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another Sunday special on Chris's Morris commercial. Today he is going to be stripping off, sorry I'm just getting a close up of that because a couple of people did ask me to. Today Chris is going to be removing all of the tin work, so the wheel arches, running boards, rear wheel arches. Let's have a little walk around. Because these are obviously the bits that have got to be painted and put back on first. So this rear wheel arch, this running board, and then we've got the front wheel arch here. And I suppose you'd call it a front panel. So I'm going to put him on time lapse. He's going to get on and get some of that removed. And then after that, I suppose we'll be moving on to stripping a few bits off the engine. Let's get on with it. Chris is moving along quickly, really getting down to the bones of it. There's a couple of bits off the front. Both front wheel arch is now removed. And as you can see, it is really starting to look like a skeleton. So next step is, is gonna remove those running bolts and then move on to the rear arches. And then once we've done that, because it's really not that time consuming, he seems to be knocking it out pretty quick. As soon as that's done, he is going to start concentrating on the engine so he's going to remove the carburetor and actually make a blanking plate and bolt it back in place and the manifold he's going to remove and obviously blank those off as well because he does want to completely get this paint stripped and then that uh, manifold we're going to be putting in the sandblaster giving that a light blast just to clear off any surface rust on the top of it so so far so good and he really has moved along with it. It is all nuts and bolts, but you can just see how beautiful it is underneath here. You know, it's literally just needs a really good clean and it'd be lovely to get that engine in a nice, clean, presentable condition again, because it has just sat around for quite a while and it's covered in dust. And obviously it was in a museum for quite some time as well. So really cracking on with it. Let's carry on. Chris really has been cracking on there. You can see he's quickly made up that plate he's took the manifold off and put that on there so that n nothing can get inside there obviously he's going to be putting all that paint stripper on but you can see now it is down to the bare bones i'm just going to walk around the other side get a better view and i've been over there all day cutting that quarter off he's literally disconnected everything he doesn't want anything around it while it's having the paint stripper put all over it. And he's made that little plate up there as well. So I think he's only got those couple of hoses left to disconnect. And uh, he'll be start thinking about getting ready to put that paint stripper on there. It's quite difficult trying to do two videos in one day, but we know everyone needs it right now. So we really are trying our hardest for you. So that is it, we are all stripped down as much as we're going to there. I did ask Chris about removing these pipes 
and he said that this one was all perished and shot and he is going to be replacing it anyway and he don't want to take it off at the moment because he doesn't want anything getting inside the engine and the same with the top one so he has just been round and bagged up everything just to stop that paint stripper from getting in there and he just put an idea out there really and I thought do you know what we give it a go if it comes out all right we're going to add it to the straight after this section but if we don't then it didn't come out too well but Chris said it would be quite smart to set the camera up exactly here get a bit of light on that engine put all the paint stripper over it and actually time lapse it bubbling up because it'll be really really quick for you and it'll be quite satisfying to watch so we are going to give that a go and fingers crossed it does come out okay watch that bit of time lapse back and that was quite satisfying actually sorry i'm just bringing you out the holder there you could see it all bubbling down here but look how quick that's pulled that off what's happened on there like five minutes chris it's a bit longer yeah a bit longer than that let's move around here chris is going to scrape a bit off with his you see it all right? i'm just going to grab the torch as well sorry mate yeah. quite satisfying and it has all come off hasn't it a little bit of red yeah, oxide I'll left under there go again on that I can't wait to see it all stripped off now and repainted. That's going to come off easy, isn't it? It is, yeah. So we're going to go ahead, clean the rest of that off. Let's do a little bit on the top, Chris, while we're here. Let's scrape mm -hmm. a little bit of that off. Because that is the bit that's pickled up the most. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, we're going to crack on and get the rest of this cleaned back up and then I'll cut back in and show you it once all that is removed and then Chris is probably going to go again with it. said this valve cover actually the original paint underneath that green paint that was over the top the original paint is stayed on there and it's quite tough to get off so he's going to crack on and do the rest of that 
and then I'll cut in and let you know what's next. Chris knocked up some uh, diesel oil mix and went all over the chassis. And as you can see how it come up, obviously none of this is getting repainted or reworked. It's all absolutely fine. He's gonna to be touching up. This is where the wood floor was rubbing. He said he's just gonna trim a bit off the wood floor, touch this up so that it's not like that. It's also been touching here. He's gonna obviously rework the wood so that it doesn't touch there and then repaint that cover. But he's whipped the old uh, side valve cover off. A lot of people did ask questions about this in the last video actually. How does that work? It's just, it's incredible how things used to work. Let's move around to the other side. So much of that paint come off, but there is still some like little bits there that he's got to get off with the whippy wheel. And then just down there in the corner where it bolts down to the mount. But he's done a cracking job on it and it really hasn't taken him that long. I mean, he was on it all day today and all day yesterday, but he did mention about the wiring as well and these fittings, the old brass fittings, a couple of them had been replaced and they wasn't the proper ones. So he has ordered the proper ones and he's also gonna make a new wiring loom for it. He said there is various little imperfections in it that he doesn't like and he wants to put it back all original. The valve cover, He has now taken off and that is in there soaking. He's brushed it all up. So in a minute, he is gonna wash that off and we're gonna move over because it's all set up. We set up the blast cabinet and the extraction and we're gonna be blasting that and the exhaust manifold. Also, a couple of people did mention about the books. I bet Chris hasn't got a manual for it. and he has got them all. And he said this one here has actually got the wiring diagram in it. So he's ordered all the correct wires <clears throat> in all the correct colors, and he's actually gonna build a new loom from scratch. So yeah, he really has moved along with it. Let's move over to the blasting cabinet and get these bits cleaned up. We are good to go, and this is a bit of a warning. Obviously we are, we are gonna have to run the extraction, otherwise we're not gonna be able to see through the window. So. It is gonna be quite noisy. So for you headphone um, listeners, turn your volume down now. You we good to go, Chris? Yeah. <coughs> We've got a little plate in now. Yeah, go on, mate. Do you want a light? If it, it's got an edge there. Yeah, we're trying to light there. You're gonna to have to move it back a little bit, though. I'll put it where you need it to be. That's it, mate. Yeah, lovely. See that, right? Yep. Yep. Go for it then. It's recording. Oh, is it? Well, let's make an easy work of that. Some of you will probably ask, why didn't we use this on the uh, on the whole engine? But obviously, it would make a real mess. Pause there guys, clean this bit of glass and cut straight back in. Yeah, to get it out and just show you really half and half. 
Chris just said it is gonna want going over again, but it really does make easy work of it and it feels nice and smooth now. So that's back to original. And what a difference that made and that was literally a minute's work. So we won't record any more of it. We'll just chuck that in there and get the rest of that. Done. that's raw now, Chris is just quickly going straight over it with some primer. I don't want the inside, let that go on. Yeah, we'll let that go and then we'll turn it over and do the other side. Does, uh, he does tend to work quite fast and he's quite adamant that he's now he's started it, he wants to get it done. So he's got quite a lot of little tedious jobs to do like that wiring, repainting the engine, the manifold. He has just blasted the manifold and put some primer on it for now. So he's got that to be getting on with and a few other jobs on it to do so and obviously waiting for parts it's they don't come overnight so all the little brass fittings that hold the wiring he really wants to get it back exactly how it originally was so the cab's going to be going off for paint as is the doors and all of the tin work wheel arches etc so that's going to be getting done obviously off camera i have spoken to the painter and said we would really like to film a part of you painting the cab and he's agreed to set a camera up himself and film a bit of that and send it over to me so we'll be adding that to the video there's possibly not going to be another video on it next sunday because it's we're still going to be waiting for parts and there's going to be bits and pieces that we can't show so yeah, there probably won't be one next sunday but there will be one the sunday after so anyway enough waffling on that is going to be the end of today's video. Thank you all very much for watching. If you do enjoy it, please let us know by leaving a comment in the comment section. Give us a thumbs up. We really do appreciate it and it shows your appreciation. Check out the merch store. The link is in the description. Like, subscribe and share and we'll see you all very soon in the next one.